What is going on guys? Thank you so much for checking out the video. So I got a comment on some video I posted a while back and I didn't get angry. I was just upset because this guy posted, um, he was saying something like he was, he's been in this relationship for a year and he was going on about how he knows exactly what his girlfriend's up to. Uh, he knows exactly what she's doing. He, you know, he's fully, uh, entrusted his life with her. He's placed all of his faith in her. Um, and he believes that she would never do anything to hurt him or to or to go behind his back and cheat or, or do something like that. And I just got upset that this guy is so naive that he honestly believes that he knows exactly what his girlfriend's going to do. And I see this all the time. And again, I don't get angry. I, I just kind of, um, I just get upset that so many men are, are so gullible to the fact that they really think that they can place... All their trust and faith in their girlfriend or wife um, and the biggest thing they always say is you know oh I you know she she loves me and I love her and and you know she would never do anything to hurt me and it happens time and time again and then all of a sudden when the girlfriend or wife actually does do something bad like she cheats on him or something the guys inevitably saying wow I never saw that coming and I found an article here it's gonna prove my points but um, one of the things that men have to watch out for especially if your girlfriend or wife has said to you that you that she wants to have kids and you're not fully committed to it um, you really have to be careful with what she's gonna do next because it happens all the time and I know it's hard for some people to believe but girlfriends or wives they will they'll steal a man's sperm just to get pregnant and it happens all the time and men are so naive that they think that their girlfriend would never do this. So here's an article. It's a confession piece by some feminist called Liz Jones. Um, this little bit in the front, that's that's not important. Um, but basically, she was dating this guy. And the guy moved in with her. Clearly, it wasn't a very serious relationship. And she wanted a baby. This guy didn't. And let's see what happens. So... Um, Trevor had given me what I wanted from a relationship. At first, he wouldn't even have sex with me. Or, sorry, Trevor had never given me what I wanted from a relationship. At first, he, would, he wouldn't even have sex with me. Then, finally, when he moved into my flat, probably more out of a desire to be able to walk to work, he, we started having a physical relationship. He was still very cautious, though. He refused to believe I was on the pill and insisted we use a condom for every moment of our intimate contact. Perfect. This guy knows what's going on, especially if, if a man meets a girl for the first time at a bar or, or on some random night and she's, you know, she's drunk or whatever. And she's saying, Oh, I'm on the pill. Don't worry. You don't have to use a condom. Fuck man. Run the other way. Never trust, especially when you just met some girl that they're on the pill or, or they're on some type of birth control. Always use a condom. Um, he says, I don't trust you, he said, muttering something about women claiming to want a career, but underneath wanting to start a family. Totally true. I called his bluff and told him there was no way I would want a baby with him, given he didn't earn any money. Yet the truth was, I had hatched a plan that many will doubtless find shocking. So here we go, right? Um, that's another thing. Most women or women are biologically programmed to be mothers, right? It's, it's in them to want to have children. And so I'm always... I, I, I never fully believe a girl when she's like, oh, you know what? I don't really want kids. I, I'm not I'm not into that lifestyle. I'm very uh, hesitant to believe that when they say that. So this guy was right. This guy was doing everything uh, in his power to avoid this. And you can just see here already how this girl is going behind her back, right? She, so she's already lying to him by saying, I don't want a baby, right? She's already saying, I don't want a baby with you. But she has hatched a plan to go behind his back and steal his sperm. Let's read on. Because he wouldn't give me what I wanted, I decided to spiel, steal it from him. What a surprise. I resolved to steal his sperm from him in the middle of the night. I thought it was my right, given that he was living with me and I had bought him many, many M&S ready meals. See, again, you know, isn't that ridiculous how she thinks that it was her right? Just because she's letting the guy live with her? And she's buying him these meals, whatever. She thinks that she's entitled to steal his sperm just to get get just to get pregnant. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? The theft itself was alarmingly easy to carry out. One night after sex, I took the used condom, and in the privacy of the bathroom, I did what I had to do. So there you go, guys. Um, really, this video 
because I know a lot of people on my channel are, they already know about this. They already know that women will do all these deceitful things. But this video is mainly an educational tool for these other men that are still on the, on the side and, and they still kind of think that, you know, they know what their, what their significant other is doing. Um, this video is just a wake up call. It's a reminder to say, you never know what's going on. Even with your friends, um, you know, like your male friends, your parents, you can never really know what they're doing, like what's going on in their life. The only person that you really have full, full control over and you know what they're going to do next is yourself. So next time you're in a relationship and a girl is telling you that she doesn't want kids and and uh, she just wants to have fun and all this stuff, you know, be hesitant of it. Don't believe it at first and especially take care of your sperm and don't let girls steal it from you. So just know these tricks because those are old ones, right? They'll, they'll fucking steal old condoms. Um, and another one I did, I remember I did a, an old MGTOW news report. Some girl uh, stole the guy's sperm during oral sex, right? So she kept it in her cheeks and then used it to impregnate herself. And, and this stuff's more common than you guys think. I know it's hard to believe, but it really is. Anyways, let me know what you think about this video, and I'll see you in the next one.